My moment of zen. I feel better already. Jon Stewart said a final farewell to The Daily Show last night after 17 years as a host, and pretty much everyone showed up to say goodbye. It's, it's very touching that you would come back after 12 years and, and do well, that. I never left, John. <laughs> Becoming an international superstar is just something I did while waiting for my next assignment. <laughs> We've all just been waiting, John, the whole time. He did a final scripted bit with his former partner in crime, Stephen Colbert. I just want to say that I am so touched that everybody could be here tonight, and... Me too, John. Is there a party or anything? Yeah. Because... I brought a lot of people from CBS, and I told them that I know you. Yes, it, there, there is a party, and you can go to it. Who then went off script to give John a really heartfelt goodbye, and everybody cried. All of us <laughs> who were lucky enough to work with you for 16 years are better at our jobs because we got to watch you do yours, and we are better people for having known you. There was even a pretty epic group hug from the entire cast of The Daily Show with Jon Stewart throughout its run. But the most talked about moment was actually Jon's recognition of the entire cast and crew shot in Martin Scorsese Goodfellas style. Members off to studio production. These poor souls did the hardest job of all, watching the news all day. There was Juliet, Liza, Goose, haircut, brunch man, and of course, Gabagoo. The shot also included Martin Scorsese himself. Hey, John, you know you ripped me off for the last time of Goodfellas, okay? You're gonna hear from my lawyers, and soon. I don't know what he's talking about. It ended with one final moment of zen, a command performance from Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Which we would play for you, but then we wouldn't be able to make money off of this video, so. It's just us, it was good. John Voyage was the hashtag everyone used to share their thanks and gratitude for John's many, many years on the show. Jerry Seinfeld tweeted, wish you all the best, dude. Keep taking those fantastic pauses. Inhales, slow squint, then drop funny line. Love you, man. Also, don't play for college audiences. They don't find racism hilarious. Anyway, great job on the show. At Midnight asked all of their guest comics to guess what the final moment of Zen would be. Rob Hubel suggested he's going to write a book that I'm going to say I read, but I didn't really read it. Aubrey Plaza responded, he's finally going to give Daniel Tosh that hand job he's been asking for. Josh Gad tweeted, John Stewart leaving while Trump is still out there is the equivalent of Superman leaving behind his powers as Zod looms large. Dirty Dancing star Jennifer Grey tweeted this image of John Stewart's head on Patrick Swayze's body with the caption, don't leave me this way. What do you guys think? Are you gonna miss John Stewart? Are you guys still gonna watch when Trevor Noah takes over? I think it'll be interesting to see what he does. Let us know in the comments below, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe for more What's Trending.